Hi, I'm Brian. I'm going to talk about cleaning the air filter on your KTM. Um, this one's an 04625. It's got the street legal kit on it, uh, but it does get plenty of dirt time. First thing you want to do is pull your seat. Uh, when you pull your seat, you can see on the back of the seat right there, it's got a little twist thing. Just twist it and then draw the seat back. Just do a, you know, like a short takeoff airport pull from the back here. Um, clear your bag and it will just get out of the way. And you'll see the air filter from the top and you're like, well how in the heck do I get that out of there? That doesn't make any sense. The way that they secure the air filter is they secure it by a little hook on the inside. Isn't that fun lawnmower hum in the background? That means I don't have to mow the lawn. It's kind of music to your ears if you think about it that way. Um, the air filter's held in. Pull the bike noise. I got all the good noise. So it's held in like this, and it's held in by that little bar there. So when you go to take it off, you'll need to take off this cover. As you can see, there's four bolts. They're eight millimeter, these two and these two. Uh, once you get this cover off, you know what? You don't really have to take the seat off. I just like to because it's easier to work with, and it's so easy to pull the seat off with that just quick disconnect. So you pull this up, pull it out, set it aside, Take this one, you want to pull it. I pull them all the way out. You don't have to, but why not? It makes life easier. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure not to disturb any dirt that will fall down into the intake. If it does, be sure to wipe it out with a rag. It's pretty easy. You know, it just falls away. Um, you want to check that before you put your filter back in. Um, you just take the filter. I usually like to either peel or twist it and then pull it out. When you pull it out, you'll find that it has a cage inside of it. Little cage fighter thing, huh? So you pull this out on the back side of your filter. You're going to have the little button that the bar went across. Remember the bar? This is how the bar goes. So you pull that off. I'm telling you, it's music to your ears when you don't have to mow the lawn. Get you a fun mower, and you don't have to. Other people do it for you. <laughs> so anyway, you pull this out to clean this. There's a bunch of different kinds of oil that you can use. Let's talk about that for just a minute. This is a really short video. If you use, um, get all your helicopter parts out of the way. Get all that gone. Um, Bell Ray, who you may be familiar with, he sponsors Chad Reed. They make a really good um, foam filter oil. You can see it looks like that. If you use this, you have to use gasoline to get it cleaned off and that sucks because you know that song there was an old woman who swallowed a fly swallowed a spider to catch a fly swallowed a bird to catch a spider that wriggled and wiggled and tickled inside that's the abbreviated version it goes on forever but basically you have to use gas to get this off or some other kind of solvent and then you got to use soap and water to get that off and then you got to use water to rinse the soap out and then you use air to get the water out in the sunshine and then you can put it back on. This stops dirt better than anything I've used. This stuff is amazing. Um, but it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Especially for an Enduro. I like SWAF. It stands for Synthetic Water Washable Air Filter Fluid. S-W-W-A-F-F. -F. And then this way you just use soap and water and then dry it off and then put the stuff right back on. You skip all those steps and you don't have to work with some kind of scary flammable gasoline to clean the filter. This one has Bell Ray in it. I'm probably gonna, well I definitely have to use gas or some solvent to get it off. But look at that, how's air gonna travel through that? It's so dirty. Get a little light on that. Seriously, you can't, it's like cracky dirt gum. See it's blue. That's the nice thing about both of these is that this is really green and so you can remember, oh yeah, it's green. It's kind of uh, kind of uh, eco-friendly. I don't have to use gas. This is blue and uh, the color of the dye helps you to be able to see how well you did it. What you do when you go to put these on, say I'm using SWAF. This is all clean. It's prepped. It's dry. I'll take this and I'll just drizzle it just like I'm a cake decorator. I'll just drizzle the crap out of the inside of it and then just mush it up with my gloves that are clean and will be thrown away. Keep this really, really clean once you've got it clean on the inside. If you have to put it down, set it down on the outside. Um, that way if any dirt or whatever's in there, it stays out of the engine and doesn't get sucked through air through the filter and into the engine. But same thing on the other side, just take it, you just drizzle all the way around, drizzle, 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 and then just wad it up, mush it up, and just get all the oil to go all throughout the re through it. You know, just like if you wanted to get a rag wet, you get it wet and mush it up. So, 
Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, there's other ones, there's other kinds that are available. This is my favorite of the water soluble. This is my favorite of the non water soluble. There's lots of different other ones that you can use. And people can argue and be a fanboy for one or the other and just, you know, like, mine's the best. I love it. Only use mine. It's the only way. You know, if you want. But in reality, they all do a pretty good job. So. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, be sure to click subscribe. You can add it to your favorites down below. Um, you can ask me any questions in the comments section. That way other people can see. There's probably the answer to your question in your comments. If you want an answer fast, look through the comments. You'll find it most likely. So, cheers.